What's going on everybody? My name is Joe Frana. Welcome, welcome. Uh, this is going to be the Q&A for the 16 part vlog series we just finished up. We're going to do vlogs 1 through 8 this week and then next week we're going to do 9 through 16. So let's go. I am lucky enough to have the problem that I have so many people watching and interacting and commenting on my videos that I can't keep up with them anymore. Um, I really, really tried in the beginning to answer everyone's comments, but you miss a day, you miss two days, I'm out at sea. Once it got away from me, that was it. Yeah, so I am on another ship. All the true fans will know by my haircut, by my appearance, what kind of ship I'm on. <laughs> also, the best way, if you do want to get my attention, um, I turned on the super thanks thing, and that automatically sends your comment to the top of the list. So. You know, when I log on, I'll see that at the top of my notifications is your questions. And I try to go in there and answer all the super thanks at least once a week is what I'm trying to do. So if you really want to reach out, try the super thanks thing. All right, let's get into the questions. So vlog one, um, new ship. Uh, one of the big questions on here was, do I pay for travel? No, the company always pays for the travel. Yeah, I'll get my plane ticket fly to wherever I'm flying to and then at the airport there'll be usually an agent waiting for me or if I get my own cab or Uber the company will reimburse me when I get to the ship and another big question on this one was um, can I date my videos I'm not gonna date the videos um, for a couple reasons one the videos come out a lot later um, than when I'm actually working I do that one because I can't make videos while working. I work eight hours, 12 hours a day, and to film, edit the videos and send them out while I'm working on a ship is very, very hard to do. Uh, so usually I work on the videos when I'm home. And uh, not to mention, I wouldn't want to compromise the security of the ship, you know, saying where a ship is and showing all its workings on the inside and who's on there. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't want to do that. All right, vlog two, uh, the shipyard. People asked if we were pumping sludge into the tanks. No, that wasn't sludge, that was just water. It was rusty water, but it was just water. Uh, it wasn't mud or anything like that. And another question for this one was, do you share a room? And no, we didn't share rooms on this ship. I have shared rooms before, um, and that is awful. But this particular ship, I had my own room, thank God. And then another question for some reason on here was a big viewer discretion thing. Why I have that. And yeah, I know there was a typo and <laughs> that entertainment typo for those of you who caught that. Um, man, I had my writing, my professional writer girlfriend look over that and my very, very smart sister read over that too. So I don't. And nobody caught it. I don't know if somebody went in, like one of my friends was over and they messed with it. But once it was set and I uploaded all those, all those videos, there was no changing it. So, um, but yeah, I have no idea how that happened. But anyway, I have that viewer discretion on there. Just to reiterate that the videos are just for entertainment, you know, like I don't want to upset any of the company or the crew and everything I say or I show is just for entertainment coming from a place of entertainment it's not meant to put anyone on blast or take anything too seriously you know um, sometimes I film stuff where I make it look like I'm working but I'm not so people are like oh you don't have your PPE on and yeah vlog three going out in Portugal uh, do I speak another language? No, no, I don't. Um, 
took two years of Spanish, but I did not retain any of that. Uh, most of the Spanish I know I learned while I was working at Olive Garden from the busers. <laughs> uh, and then two was how do I navigate through a country? So most people in other countries speak English, thank God. But you know, you will occasionally run into people who don't speak English. Usually if it's a cab driver or um, you know, a restaurant, bartender, something like that. The, uh, the best thing I do is I have Google Translates on my phone. So I'll just, I don't know where my phone is, but you know, I'll say whatever I want to say, translate into Spanish, put it up there and um, you know, it translates it for me. Cause usually it's just like, you know, you can get a message across pretty easily like that. And the best way to exchange money, um, I always try to use my credit card if I can. It's just a lot easier as long as you tell your credit card company or your bank or whatever that you're in another country because if you don't they'll turn it off pretty quick but also you can find you can exchange money at most banks then I think the best place to exchange money for the best exchange rate is usually hotels I think I'm not 100% sure on that I think all right log four transiting the North Atlantic uh, why do we rinse off the deck yeah, it was the deck was just super dirty from being in the shipyard. So to go through and rinse everything off, um, just the best way to go about it, you know. It's kind of like asking like why you would rinse off your car, you know, why would you take your car to the car wash? Um, just to keep it clean and in good working condition, I guess. Uh, do I ever get seasick? No, no, I don't get seasick. I've never ever gotten seasick. Um, I've sailed with a couple guys who've gotten seasick once or twice. Uh, it'll usually last for like a day or two, then it'll pass. Vlog five, um, being at anchor. So many people were asking why we would sit at anchor for so long. <clears throat> Remember, I am just a simple AB sailor, way down the food chain. Food, huh, way down the food chain. I. Do not make any decisions, nor am I involved in any of the decisions like this. Um, I sweep the freaking floors, you know what I mean? But if I had to put two and two together here, we were at the shipyard and it is very expensive to be at the shipyard. So the company didn't want to be at the shipyard. We wanted to load the cargo. And I'm not 100% sure that this is how this particular dock worked this particular dock worked but some docks um when you go to a port you can't make a reservation or reserve a spot in the port until you actually get outside the anchorage so you can't be like okay well one o'clock you're gonna come in you have to actually be in anchorage waiting and then you're like okay now i'm next in line you know it's like going to the deli counter and taking a number you can't take the number when you're back at home you have to once you're at the counters, that's that's when you take the number. Then the other thing was what the alarm was. Uh, so yeah, I believe that was a temperature alarm in the crane because it was freaking cold up there. So I'm pretty sure that was a temperature alarm going off. Oh, another question for this video: um, Why does paying more anchor chain help the anchor? So what's interesting about this question is so. It's not actually the anchor itself that's keeping the ship in place. It's the weight of the anchor chain that's keeping the ship in place. So the more chain you put down, the more secure the ship's gonna be. Okay, vlog six, uh, loading in Alt's Cove. Who sings the sea shanty? Uh, that was Jeff singing, come on now. Um, of course it was Jeff. I don't know if that particular song is on his Spotify. Uh, but I'll link his Spotify here or there or down there somewhere, but his Spotify will be there. Um, just jump over there and, um, you should be able to find it. If it's anywhere, it's there. Who cleans up all the spilt cargo? Uh, we clean that up. Yeah. We either throw it in the hold or we chuck it overboard. Um, whatever's easier. People are going to be like, oh, well, why don't you, you know, throw it back and hold It's such a waste. Uh, the best analogy I can think of is imagine having a glass of milk and you spill a little bit of milk on the table. 
you're not going to try to sip up that milk, you know, uh, you have so much more milk in the glass. Log 7 stores, who orders what? So the chief mate is going to order all the stuff for the deck department, the steward is going to order all the stuff for the galley steward's department, and the chief engineer, I believe, orders all the stuff for the engine department. But at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Captain approves all the orders, uh, I think. How long did stores take? That particular day, those stores, that was an all day thing. We were up super early in the morning and it went all the way till sunset. I think I worked like 14 hours that day. Another very, very, very long day. Can we get mail? Um, yes, we can get mail. But on a tramping ship like this, it's a little bit harder um, because you have to send, you have to know where the ship's going to be and when they're going to be there. And you have to find the agent that you're going to have and send the package or send the mail to the agent and the agent will drop it off to the ship. Um, and that can take that can take a while. That whole progression can, can be a while. Uh, like, for example, the ship I'm on right now, we were just on a short run going back and forth between two places. So it's very, very easy to get mail here because we just sent it to one place and right now we're going to come back there. So getting mail here is easy, but on a ship that kind of runs all over the place, it's a lot harder. Okay, vlog eight, bunkers, crew change. What are bunkers? I could have sworn I, uh, I answered this in the video. So many people asked. Uh, bunkers are basically just getting fuel for the ship. It's uh, fueling up the car, you know? Um, just getting gas. Um, another question was, do we sleep in hammocks? Or why don't we sleep in hammocks? Um, I have a hammock, I have a one for camping, and it's super, super comfortable, but I can't, I could never sleep in it. I can't fall asleep on my back like that. Like, I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's some like pirate stuff. Sleeping on hammocks in the hull of the ship. <laughs> you know? Oh. Now we have Tempur-Pedic mattresses. So, yeah, no more hammocks. And the funny thing about this vlog, so on my channel, if you click on the community section, you'll see like all the written posts and pictures I, would, I put up. And there you can find announcements like, oh, um, you know, I'll put a questionnaire about merchandise or um, say when a video is gonna come out. But on that community page is where I announced that it was gonna be intermission. I guess not too many people saw it because <laughs> there's a couple people uh, said I was dead. I am not dead. I am here, unfortunately, still going. But yeah. And speaking of intermissions, we'll call it there. Uh, I'll do 9 through 16 next week. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I hope this answered some of your questions. I love you all so very much for asking so many questions. Um, yeah, thanks. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.